This area here um, is, has a special sense of place for my family. My family lived um, across the street where our Golden Corn is now located. I watched this center be built from the ground up and I'm just so ecstatic that it's here standing, serving the community. Birth of the Pilcom Center only started during the night of my inauguration as president of the Filipino Chamber of Commerce. And I believe it was time now for the Filipino people to build their own center so that we can be proud of that we get one like that to gather as a gathering place for the Filipinos. It was very tangible that this was something that would, would be a testament to what we could um, accomplish as a community in the breezeway. There's plaques of people, uh, the names of people who donated. And there are people there who may not necessarily have a lot of money, but they really uh, felt this was something very important. I have some relationship with the governor, Ben Caetano, the mayor, uh, Jeremy Harris, we get funding from them because there is their program of funding. So we hit the Consuelo Foundation and then lately, the last time that I get, uh, we know very well the Weinberg. They give, that's why they donated a bulk of that three billion. Although we still have a shortfall, I borrowed the money, we borrowed the money from Citibank, they give five million and then that's a goal. And the big turnaround is the land. When Ampak donated the land, that was the beginning. This project was right up our alley because Wimbley Allison Tong and Goo is uh, the world's foremost uh, design firm for hospitality and leisure architecture. The office got together all of the Filipino staff, uh, designers and uh, all of the architects and formed that team as a labor of love. I would say that this project was one of the most ideal projects that we have ever done because everything fits so perfectly. In that first brainstorming project, we really quickly came up with a master plan. It was uh, large enough that we could arrange all of the uh, function spaces, the offices, the, the, the rentable spaces, the ballroom, function rooms around a courtyard that would really, really express the culture of Filipino hospitality. The details, the level of detail and, and, and charm of the, of the architecture expresses that heritage of the ancestral home in the Philippines. All of the entrances and access to the, the, to, to the complex from the street, from the side, from the parking lot, is very open and inviting. In 2000, uh, year 2000, we were asked by Manny Lanuevo, who is uh, at the time a, a client of ours and was very active with the Filipino community and asked us to get involved with the project. And we thought it would be a really good opportunity for us to be a part of that, to help that vision become a reality. When I first became involved, I mean, this was just a bare open lot. Start was in January of 2001, and then we finished uh, in March of 2002. So actually, I think we finished uh, two or three weeks ahead of schedule. Two years that we were involved in the project, it was you could see that everybody was willing to work together. Everybody put the selflessness aside. And Often projects driven by sort of you know financial gain, and, and uh, this this was a case where. You know, the, the, everyone's vested interest was in you know, producing a, a building of quality and, and sort of stature for the Filipino community. I just remember the day that it was opened, um, how much pride was beaming from everybody in the community that this, it was like the community had arrived. And so for us, that was a monumental event. When this was built in the opening of, in 2002, my family um, came and we celebrated with other community members. Looking at the building now, it's still a beautiful building. I definitely feel proud uh, of, of what we've done here, what we designed here. As architects, there is always the temptation to design something that is current, that is fashionable, that is, uh, you know, avant-garde and uh, put your name in the map, you know. This is, Philcom Center is a building, but what we hope is beyond that, it will be a place where um, the future generations can come and learn about um, the history of the Filipinos, the values, the culture, 
and it be a truly uh, a place where they can feel the spirit of those who um, had the vision um, to um, build this as, um, as one, um, a place where they can feel it's their own, that they belong here. Today, every Filipino is proud that we have a gathering place. That's one of the most important parts. That was really my dream. So I want to thank all the people that get involved, especially the original board of directors, because they sacrifice time. Main thing, I do my work, and that's it. I don't want to be recognized or anything like that. I'm happy that I can do something for the community. For us, Philcom represented, you know, one of the highlights for our firm in terms of being a successful pot. The theme of being a designer and builder of the legacy uh, is, is pretty special to us to be a part of. So we, we want to thank everybody. Uh, congratulations to everybody. WTG was founded on a commitment to local community, and this project is a perfect example of a collaboration with local community members uh, producing a a building that is uh, notable and uh, something that we're all very proud of. Our commitment began 20 years ago and we look forward to extending this collaboration into the future, supporting Philcom and whatever may come 